What's going on everyone? As requested, in today's video, I'll be going over the sensitivity settings I've been using for the full release of PUBG Xbox. This video is going to be short and to the point, so let's get right into it, starting with my controller button preset. Ever since Type-B came out on Xbox, that's what I've been using. I feel it's much more comfortable and easier to use than Type-A since it's the same as all the first person shooters I've played. Next up, both my left and right stick dead zones are at 10. Keeping this low will make my controller more sensitive to stick movement and hopefully help me have faster reactions than my opponent. For controller vibrations, I keep this on and at 3. I think the vibrations help me react a little better when I'm not paying too much attention to the game. On to my movement sensitivity, I have kept this at 80 since the start of the game and have seen very little problems since. For my general sensitivity, I keep this at 8 or 9. This is higher so I can look around fast and always be aware of my surroundings. It did take a while for me to get used to this and if I come back from a little break, I'll lower it to 7 and then gradually raise it. I keep my vehicle driver sensitivity at 7 and really never have any problems with it unless I hit one of PUBG's invisible walls. Aim acceleration is kept on and at 3. Again, I like this on so I can lock onto my targets faster. It does take some time to get used to, but I prefer it over not having it. My over the shoulder aim is kept at 4. This way of shooting is already inaccurate and you really only use it close range, so keeping it low for me helps keep on target. For both my 1 times and 2 times, I have 8 sensitivity so I can lock onto enemies fast at close range. I keep the 3 times scope 1 notch down at 7 and my 4 times and 6 times scope 1 notch down from that at 6. Finally my 8x is at 5 and my 15 time scope is at 10 because it's still bugged on Xbox. Well everyone, I hope my settings help you out when getting those chicken dinners. If you found this video helpful, leaving a thumbs up and subscribing is always appreciated and will help the channel grow. If you have any feedback or ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments. Also if you're looking for new people to squad up with, I do viewer squad games on my Twitch channel. All you have to do is tune in live, type your gamer tag, and I'll invite you. The link to my Twitch can be found in the description. I hope to be playing with you soon. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.